You guys can win this R32 and $3,000 cash. If you go to the bio and go to 53supply.com, every dollar you spend gets you three entries. If you also go to the bio and go to PowerJDM and use my code, every dollar you spend gives you two entries so you can buy car parts or merch. In this video, we really clean this thing up and she's about to rip. Good luck and enjoy the video. Okay, bear with me for a second, guys. I have uh, I have received one of the coolest opportunities of my lifetime. It has nothing to do with cars. As you guys probably know, I play hella guitar. I've played guitar my whole life. Long story short, there's a newer brand out there called Cerberus. I've followed them since they launched, and uh, I've wanted the guitar because it's like insane quality control, like really good guitar, I wanted to play it. He actually reached out to me, the owner, the other day, and um, offered me the coolest opportunity that I have ever had. So this is, this is the guitar. Plug her in. I am going to be doing a limited run of this Erebus model right here. I'm going to be designing the guitar. They are actually available for pre-order right now. This is the official mock-up and this is what will show up to your door. Yeah, this is my, uh, it's my custom design. It's something that's been going on kind of behind the scenes and uh, it's something that like, this is a dream come true. So we'll have a limited run. You guys will get a special discount. We'll have it in six and seven strings. I'm gonna be doing a trans white quilted maple finish, ebony fretboard, six or seven string, but this guitar is a freaking ripper, dude. This is huge. <laughs> this is really, really cool. I want to play it, but I gotta get to work. Damn. <sighs> I did recently move all of my stuff down to my office, and I did so much wire tucking. Look at this, this cable management. Cut out my own holes made grommets for cable management. So you walk into the room and know it's ugly. Ah, surprise. We have the R32 on the lift. <laughs> Dude, all of my lifts are occupied in the shack. So uh, I have to work on this thing in here, which is fine. So I got a nice clean new garage that's been revamped. If you guys missed this video, please go check it out. Really, really cool vid. Took me a month to film and make, but we are going to finally work on the R32. Here in a couple days, we're going to Trackstar to tune the 32 and um, see how much power we can make, finish up the car. We'll finally actually have some fun stuff to watch. I need some tools. Guys, I need to get Jaren to come drive this thing. I know you guys agree. Where you at, sis? Come drive your freaking Miat. I guess today, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things, but uh, I will show you guys a pretty cool opportunity with Heritage Wheel. I'm gonna be one of the first cars, or probably one of, the, I think maybe the first car, to be running their new monoblock. Um, so I'm gonna be making this, I guess, the wheel reveal and install video, but we're gonna be doing a lot more than that. I gotta do brakes, transmission stuff, clutch bleed, brake bleed. I've gotta do some fender work, install the new wheels. So, new wheels, let's talk about the current ones first. So the ones on the car right now are, uh, these are basically R34 GTR reps. So a lot of you guys I know like these, but uh, I'm not, I'm, these, are, uh, these are sentimental to me because we did our gender reveal with these wheels and tires, so I'm keeping them. I chose a style that I'm super stoked about. I wanted to go for, I'll, I'll just show you, but um, first off, the biggest thing right now is uh, this freaking, uh, this Fendi does not like this size of tire. So first off, I've gotta change the tires. Second wheel is gonna be the exact same size and offset, just a different style. But yeah, I do need to pull these fenders out a lot more. I've actually rolled them, and it doesn't feel like I've rolled them very much, but you can, yeah, whatever. So we're changing the wheels. Oh, and we sold our C63 AMG this past weekend. So she gone. Shout out to my boy Chris. If you guys saw, I posted a picture with him. He's actually, uh, he's, I guess he's a fan, but uh, drove down from Tulsa, Oklahoma. So if you guys live around Tulsa, you'll still see the C63. But I love that we were able to sell that car because that means that we've moved on to mommy daddy <laughs> uh, <laughs> stage of life. And I got plenty of other cars to have fun with. So let me get up something to cut these boxes open with. And we'll, we'll show you what we got. Where the hell did I put my freaking, put my freaking, put my freaking, my freaking, um, what the heck, dude? Oh, also in the middle of doing a suspension install for the AMG, but I need a different spring compressor. Mine doesn't work. Where the hell is the freaking, got? I'm getting a new one. These are monoblock Emolas. So the same wheel that I'm running, these are step lip and obviously three piece, but we're running these. 
what that is. Oh boy. I'm pretty excited about these. I, uh, I love the Amola. They are really clean, clean wheels. Holy crap, dude, that is, that is hyper silver, bro. There we go. Damn, these are nice. Look at that concave on these things, dude. That looks killer. Damn. Anyways, now that you've seen them, I need to take the current wheels off and I'm just gonna start disassembling the brakes. I have new pads, new rotors, and we're gonna end up doing an entire brake fluid flush just so you, you know, you don't die when you drive it. In case you guys need your memory jogged, this car was abandoned for years, so everything is just <laughs> bad. I had to actually hammer, use a mallet to get the caliper and pads off, <laughs> off of the rotor. Uh, but thankfully the rotor's not stuck. Oh yeah, that, that boy had a lip and it was definitely rusty, so it's time to replace him. I'm so sad too. The guy that did this did some fender work and like it's just, paint's a little cracked, it's just not, Evan spec for the for the fender. Uh, but now that the caliper's off, whenever you roll these inner fenders, you can't actually get up to here, which is the most rubby part. So I'll actually, since the caliper's off, put the, the new rotor back on and I'll actually be able to roll the fender. Go, dude. Oh yeah, some e-brakes. E-brake pulls were definitely had in here. I guess because of the e-brake, the rears are bigger than the fronts, but more surface area is used in the front, therefore still stopping power is gonna be in the front, but that's just kind of funny. All right, the parts store just came and dropped off the new pads and rotors. Fun fact, these are Z30, non-turbo, Z32 300ZX front and rear brakes. Only on the R32s though. The 33s are weird. They have R34 fronts and Z32 rears. Despite popular belief, brake cleaner actually is for brakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's to clean off all the top coat of crap that brake rotors always have, like that. And fits like a glove. So excited, Bernardo's coming here tomorrow morning to mount these with tires. Oh wait, I haven't showed you guys them on the car yet. Well, anyways, here they are. That's, <laughs> that's gonna look really good. Ugh. Look at these front pads, dude. Nah. They gonna be replaced. And three, two, one. Ah, ah. My boy Bernardo. What's up, dude? How's it going, brother? Always good to see ya. These boys, if you live in Kansas City, Dallas, or Houston, or DFW area, they can come to your house and install your tires. There we go. Yoko's. I decided to get these. These are just really good, sticky, but dailyable tires. Because it's a narrow body GTST, we had to go with a 225-40. We had a 235-40 on it, and it was still too big. So they shouldn't be stretched too much, but either way, there's not going to be a ton of negative camber. It's almost zero negative camber in the back, so it'll be nice and grippy for whatever power number you guys decide to make it. One thing I haven't mentioned about Zor before, I know a lot of you guys don't live in the three areas that they currently operate for installs. They can still drop ship to you. So if anything, make Zor your plug just for ordering tires. They got a nice easy to use system where you can plug some simple information in or just search for tires. I'm gonna leave a link for you guys in the description. I want you guys to check out Zor. Um, if you need tires, have them drop ship to you or they can come to your house and they can install them for you. I only tell you guys this because it's probably the coolest service ever. Imagine this setup. Yo, if you guys ever decommission a van, I want one. <laughs> right? This thing's badass. Look at that, taking care of the lips and everything. Don't want to seem biased here, but man, this looks good. I've been messing with alignment and getting suspension stuff back. I also replaced the steering wheel in here with a newer one. You can't see it. You'll see it plenty whenever I POV when we tune this. Anytime you upgrade to a bigger intercooler, you always have to modify the bumper. So I've spent a while now shaping and modifying and I'm gonna go back and like, but I've had to basically recontour a lot of these parts of the bumper to make it fit the intercooler. No, I hold need to hold do it one more time. What a freaking joke. It's pissing. Um wow. 
Never seen that happen in my life. Would have been nice to know before I did all of this work, but I got, uh, I ordered some, <laughs> some new 300ZX <laughs> calipers from O'Reilly, and uh, we'll have some new ones in the morning. I've got the alignment done. Now I can't bleed at all. That sucks, dude. I was supposed to get the car on the trailer and bring it to Ethan's to get it tuned tomorrow, but gonna have to postpone that another day. Now I'm just out here discouraged as hell. Let's go in my Gucci flip-flops. About to do a burp. I had to freaking, I lost the, the adapter for this. So I buy, buy a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, giggity. Okay, so thank God that's done. This is day three. Boy, burp the coolant. There's a little bit of gunkies in there. Front two are good. This guy don't piss out brake fluid for no reason. Once I do the back two, this thing is good to go off the lift and to track star. I gotta add transmission fluid and probably bleed the slave cylinder again. Who, who made this thing a square? Who made this freaking thing a square? That's not right. Need a little bit of this. Ooh. Get on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, gotta work on the delts. <laughs> ah, or the trapezius bezoid. <laughs> One more thing before we take it out of the garage. Mm. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> son! Yes, sir! Gotta get these bubbles out. Fitment is great. Shouldn't have any rubbing. I can raise it a little bit more if I need to. This looks awesome. The side skirts it'll look even better, but man, this is really good. I love the spoke decal. I think that made it amazing. try and be super unbiased. I like heritage wheels a lot, but man, I love these five spokes. I, I actually like these, but I was scared I wouldn't like these as much as the ones that were on before, but I actually like these more. Uh. My brakes don't work good enough yet. Hey, oh, to be fair, these are very grippy tires too, so <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It needs a couple fine tunes and fine adjustments and also a tune. An exhaust is next. I'm waiting for, and I have like three people that I want to have make an exhaust for me. I was gonna go to Trackstar and have him do it, uh, Drew there, but he is uh, really busy with some crazy builds right now, so we'll have to see. But look at this thing. Look at the way this thing is stanced up. This is like really nice. I'm sure it'll look way better with the skirts on too. This is sick, dude. This actually turned out really, really good. The fender work that I did this video, I actually forgot I even did fender work, but the fender work is mint. I mean, you can see that like, it, it's really gonna be so good. It's gonna be so spicy. Pretty nice. I ain't even gonna lie, boys. About to get the hood repainted and about to get the trunk repainted. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you guys a, a car that has a hood like, or has a trunk like that. <laughs> this thing is freaking sweet, dude. Ah, I'm starting to love R32 so much. Now that I've been looking at one just about every day, I'm starting to really love the body of it. So, I don't know. Maybe an R32 GTR in my future. Gonna stop buying cars for a while until I get all my stuff done at least. We're about to, just to, as we end the video, um, we're about 
to take the Supra for one last big, nice, fun drive because I just bought some HKS wastegate springs and we're going to send this GE to the moon. We're only on 15 PSI right now, I'm making 550 or something. So uh, I'd love to see what 30 PSI will do. Maybe we'll get in the 700s or so and uh, this thing will be rowdy. Who knows, this thing might even survive at 700 for a while, but probably not. I actually enjoyed working in my th this garage for the first time, I christened the house garage with the R32. I did this is three days worth of work. Now I gotta go through and like, I gotta take some simple green and, and clean this whole thing up so much. But it was kind of nostalgic working on this lift. This is the lift that kind of like got me to where we are here. So it was super fun working on this. From the bottom of my heart, I wanna say I love you guys. You guys are so special to me. I wanna thank you guys for just watching my videos. Right now, like, I'm trying to just get things done. And uh, before, you know, this is kinda like the calm before the storm. So right now I'm really just focusing on vlogging, getting some content out, but really, I'm just working and finishing up my cars because I've kinda come to this weird point to where not really any of them work. <laughs> We also, we ordered a bunch of parts uh, for the motor build on the R33, so that's gonna finally begin soon as well, and we got a surprise for that car. So I give daily advice every video that I make. So to end this video, um, I wanna say that the people that, the people that say you've changed, the people that always make the comment of, oh, you've changed, are usually the ones that actually have changed. Obviously, I have like grown up and I have become a smarter, more intelligent, wiser person than I was in like high school per se. Even whenever I used to make videos like back in the day with, with TJ, uh, when I was in college and stuff like that, people would be like, oh, you've changed this and that. Like, no, I, I really haven't. As long as you're progressing through life, people aren't gonna like it. And that's usually what makes people say those sort of things. If people say you've changed, it's probably just because their perspective of you has changed and uh, more than likely they're just jealous of what you've become or what you have done. It's as simple as that. So, I don't know, that's just something, that's something that I tweeted out a while ago and something I wanted to say. So, you guys can win the R32 in 3,000 bucks cash and also just remember, um, if you want, like it doesn't affect me really at all, but uh, that Cerberus is available for pre-order now um, if you want my signature guitar. <laughs> kind of cool, but anyways, you guys have an amazing day. Peace, catch you next video. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. If you could please watch them, that'd be sick. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Plus, make sure you're subscribed and turn those notifications on. That's it, have a good day.